okay new hunt it's Labor Day September 5th just starting out and uh, have my first weedy of the day it's a 19 um, I think 40 D so that's something let's hope for more okay I'm up to three wheats now I have a 194090 that's the one that I originally had that I thought was 1940 and then a 1951 D and I think the green one is a 1915. So getting some older stuff here and uh, hoping for more. Let's keep digging. Oh my God, I don't believe it. I just let off about five holy shits. This is a first for me bucket lister. Walking Liberty half dollar, baby. Nice. I am stoked. What is it? 44. Oh my god. Incredible find. I'm here at a school that I've pounded this field all last year. Probably found about close to 20 silvers, mostly uh, dimes and a couple quarters. And I have the field so cleaned out that I decided to come on the outside of the fence and uh, do around here. And I just hit this. It wasn't even solid. It was, uh, you know, it was uh, between 84 and 87 on the AT Pro, a little shaky. Oh my God. Thank you. Let's keep digging. You digging this? I'm digging this. Silver number 31 on the year. And it's a big one. Okay, here we are. We're going to do a little wrap up since my last hunt. Um, this is the uh, Walking Liberty that I found, all cleaned up nice. It's a 1944D. I couldn't be happier with this. It's amazing. You, you know, with all the digging you go out and do, and you live for moments like this. I dug this, and I, it to was a total surprise. Um, I think it was ringing at the time. It was kind of like on a little slope. It was ringing more like a quarter on the AT Pro, um, maybe like an 87, 85. And then uh, it just totally caught me off guard. When I first saw it, I thought it was a token. And then I got another glimpse. I saw the eagle first on the back, and I'm like, oh my god. And so that's a bucket lister for me. It's the first silver half dollar that I dug since my rookie season when my third silver ever was a Franklin half. And uh, yeah, I'm very thrilled. So I went out the next day, which was the day after Labor Day, to uh, Green Lake State Park in New York. And uh, there they have a policy where you need a permit to detect and you can only detect on the beaches from the day after Labor Day to the day before Memorial Day. And from then on, all through the regular summer season, the park is closed to metal detecting. So I uh, put a few hours in there, and uh, it was mostly clad, to tell you the truth. I found a hundred, I dug 120 coins out of the sand with a record 13 nickels, which tells you I was trying to find a gold ring, which I didn't. And pretty much other than the uh, clad, I uh, found this bracelet, which I believe is silver plated. There was like a copper wire underneath that some of it's coming off. And uh, so I found that, and that was quite deep in the sand. That was like eight to 10 inches. And I just had to show this uh, car because uh, the PA coin hounds have been uh, hounding me about my car finds, telling me I should open up a you're digging it scrap yard. So that's the, uh, token car for this hunt. There you go. You digging it? I'm digging it. 
And then, uh, to tell you the truth, when I dug this dime, I didn't even know that it was silver. I was digging just so much clad, I had a, like a pocket full where I had to go empty my pockets three times to the car, digging 120 coins. And I didn't know until I got home and laid everything out that I actually dug a silver dime. And uh, this is a 1964D. So that was a great surprise. I thought it was just a total clad day and got home and found out I actually had a silver. Okay, another thing that I wanted to show you was that I received my uh, prize for winning I Dig History's 700 subscriber contest. And it's this uh, beautiful United Kingdom silver proof one pound coin. I believe it was minted in 1986. It's the one here with the tree on it. And it's just, you know, great condition, silver proof. Beautiful coin. And I really appreciate it. Uh, he has a great channel. Go check him out if you haven't already. And, um,. Yeah, he, he did really good with this contest. Uh, it was a 700 subscriber contest, and I just looked this morning, and he's uh, well up over 900 subscribers now, so that's awesome for him. It's a great channel, and uh, pretty soon he's going to have to have the 1,000 subscriber contest. Well, anyhow, I hope everybody uh, enjoys my channel and enjoyed this movie. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks again for watching.